boy, Shot. Shot Rich Day Bike Podcast, man. Episode 55. Got a special guest in the building, man. Rapper, producer, son of motherfucking Southwest, man. Big good, good man. Good up, bro. What's good with you, bro? Chilling, chilling, man. Man, I appreciate you coming on the show, dog. Right, man, I appreciate y'all having me. Oh, yeah, for sure. Before we start, man, I seen you on the uh, IG, man. Happy birthday to your little, man. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, man. Seven years old, just turned seven. Hell yeah, that's, that's your only one? No, nah, that no, nah, that's my uh my third son. That's okay. My, yeah, that's okay, my third okay. So you will bet, you will yeah. bet with the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely, <laughs> man. Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How old your oldest? My oldest is twenty two. Okay. Yeah. You super yeah. bet then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be talking shit to my wife and shit because I got one outside of our two. And he's 14, so I always be saying I'm a 14 year vet in the game, uh, man. man. Yeah, that's hey, you know what I'm saying? But you the one thing about it, man, parenthood, the shit's so crazy, bro. Like you you never stop learning. No. You know what I'm saying? No. Like it's always a learning process. So yeah. you know, I don't even really consider myself a vet. I'm still a student. I'm just a uh uh I'm probably like a super senior though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. uh <laughs> shit, even from your twenty two year old to your seven year old, I know it's shit that you learned with him. That you might not have exactly. known with the twenty two year old. Yeah, cause see with them, man, it's crazy cause like with they with the oldest the older ones mothers, they she played a lot of games with them. So yeah. you know, I, I really had to fight her to get custody of them. For sure. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. my little man though, my seven year old, I've been with him since he was since he was born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's a difference, you know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Oh yeah, for sure. And I see man with my fourteen year olds like that shit was hard because I was nineteen, twenty yeah. And now it's like, shit, I ain't going to say it's a walk in the, you know what I'm saying, apart, but right, right, it's a right. whole lot easier than when I was 20 in comparison to me being 34. And man, listen, I'm I'm the father that's still, like I said, man, it's still a learning process for me because even with the boys, yeah. I still got six girls. Okay, oh, you get sure. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, you got your squad. Teenage, yeah. teenage, one, I got a 15 year old. Oh, shit, that's the hard one right you there. You know what I'm saying? My daughter, oh my God. <laughs> man. My 19 year old daughter. Yeah. That's my dog though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and her like so close. Yeah. And then my other girls, like, you know, they they younger, but yeah. you know, they love me to death, man. But it's just hard to balance it out because the fellas think I'm easier on them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like, it gotta be like that though, because <laughs> yeah. they girls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you it's want, a difference. You wanna you know? make sure you raise my right though, yeah, make yeah. sure they don't get into no stuff. <laughs> You you know a chick that we used to like, so you yeah, like yeah yeah oh, man, yeah yeah, and I just know how I was coming up, so man. you know I gotta set an example for them of for what sure. what type of dude you know that you supposed yeah. to be with. But man, so. I got two boys. I got fourteen year old and a four year old, and I just had my uh my baby girl uh, December fifteenth. Congratulations! I appreciate man. it. So now I'm like that mother like. You know, I had to learn things like changing a diet. I'm used to, you know what I'm saying, the balls and shit like, you know what I'm saying, now I got this thing right here, like, dog, all right, I got to clean this shit right. And it's damn near like you be uncomfortable doing yeah, it. Yeah, like, you know, and my heart like, hurt, like right, right, right. I'm asking a doctor, because my wife, she on drugs when she was, you know what I'm saying, having a baby, she drugged up. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it sounds crazy when I said she on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> she, I, she probably going to be listening to this shit. Yeah, this nigga just sounds old. This nigga sounds old. Damn. No, but she was drugged up for the whole pregnancy and shit, so I'm asking a doctor, like, so how do you clean it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. make sure everything's straight, man. But now, nah, I'm pretty good now, dog. That's what's up, man. Hey, you you ain't no super senior. You a senior, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for sure, for sure, man. But we always start to show up, man, with something called Salute Me While I'm Here. Okay. A lot of times we wait for motherfuckers to pass away. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? To tell him or her that, you know what I'm saying, you care about him and stuff. You see a Facebook post that they said once, once they died that they could have said in person. But... The only thing about it is we try not to go typical with the whole mom, dad, kids, right, or who right, you, right. who you in relationship with. Right. So if you got somebody in mind, man, go ahead, because I don't know if I got somebody, though. I ain't, I've been salute for 30, 30 episodes. Oh, man. Uh, sheesh, man. That's that's a good one, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I would say right now, I would, I would probably want to get, like, you know, salute Royce. Okay. Royce 59 right now. Yeah. Just, you know, just on the strength, man, like, over the years, you know. Bro has been kind of instrumental in my career, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, advice and, yeah. you know, helping me helping me out, putting me in certain positions, you know, plugging me with certain people and situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, bro just really been somebody that, um, you know, that, that I, I would really like to salute. And then on top of that, you know, just on the strength of what he's doing, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, like the, the, the changes he done made and the, the evolution. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then with the you know, him caring enough about the community to start the uh, the Montgomery Foundation, the uh, Ryan Montgomery Foundation okay. for mental health. You know, dude doing a lot right yeah. now and it's um he really one of them dudes who 
you know that that they they really need their roles. That's why they. Oh hit, yeah, and know? I don't think he gets enough respect as far as being a lyricist that he should. Oh no, no, he you know definitely don't get. Well, he's he's getting it now. He getting it, but you know he getting it now. Should have been like, got it. <laughs> yeah, he should have been got it, man. But you know how it go, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Everything is about timing. You oh know yeah, what I'm it saying? is. That's a fact. His, his time is 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 now. You know yeah. what I mean? Hell so. yeah, hell yeah, man. I'm a um, I'm I'm saying think about who I can salute, man. I'm, we just talking about it off at camera. I'm gonna salute uh Detroit Diamond, the girl okay. I had on the show uh three episodes ago. She got her song played on uh on the radio the other day. Okay. With uh Dr. Darius. Okay. Or whatever. She made it two days in a row. Yeah. So I'm gonna salute her, man. I salute. See her, salute. Yeah. Salute. I see her grind, man. She just started doing music for real. Like I want to say a year or two. Um, put out a tape called uh, uh, Queen, was it Princess of Diamond? Uh, yeah, one of them diamonds. Okay. <laughs> but okay. I can't it's, it's straight song, man. It's a straight it's CD. She got some straight songs on there. She doing her thing, and uh, shit, I was tell her to keep going. Yeah. And yeah. I heard her say she's gonna do a podcast, so she do that. She gotta have me on the show. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you know, the thing is, bro. Like, I, I love to see people actually take the steps to to do this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't easy, man. No, it ain't it, easy at it, all. It's not. It's not some shit. That you could just wake up and be like, I want to rap. Man. You know, even though we got a lot of those, yeah. but people yeah. who really, really take it serious, you can see it in their grind. Man, you know for saying? sure, man. Because I was, I was doing my music too. Man, I still like to do music though, but it's like it's just so many motherfuckers doing it. You know what I'm saying? That shouldn't stop you though. You know, I shouldn't. You it know shouldn't. What I'm saying? It, it shouldn't. shouldn't stop you because I mean, at the end of the day, it's a hundred of them and it's only one you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. the way I see it, it's just like with me. You know, I stay true to myself with everything that I do yeah. with the music on down, and it's yeah. like. I would have that type of discouragement if I was doing what everybody else was doing and not making it. Yeah. But I'm doing what I'm doing and yeah, making it, so yeah. it's cool. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? Hell yeah. Then I think with me, dog, this podcast shit, I didn't expect for this to be something I love doing. Right, right, I, right. I wanted to right. use this as a tool to collab with other artists. But then I started doing it so long, I'm like, hold on. Yeah. This shit dope. Like, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. this shit. Yeah, for sure. And so I ain't kind of put my passion to this. I still like do, to do music, you know what I'm saying, yeah. from time to time. But I, I became fucking tied up with this podcast and I like doing it. That's dope though. I mean, everybody got their niche. Oh, yeah. It's all about finding it. And once yeah. you find your niche, yeah. you thrive on Anybody it. Anybody be some shit that you ain't even expect that you exactly. have a passion for it. You know what I'm saying? So man, before we get into the music, everything that you got going on, man, how was it being a uh, little guv? You know what I'm saying? Tell me <laughs> tell me how it was in the household, man, who was in the crib and how it was growing up in Southwest. I mean, it, it was, it had its ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, sit here and act like my childhood was the worst childhood. It wasn't the greatest. Yeah, you sure. feel me? Like drug addicted parents and, yeah. you know, having to bounce from family member house to family member house. But, it, you know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you know, I, I appreciate my childhood because it made me who I am today. So, yeah, yeah. you know, with all the pain, even the pain, I wouldn't change none of that. You yeah, know that's what I was going to say. Like a lot of times we be saying we had, Changes, but you change one thing, it's fuck up everything. Girl. Yeah, man. You need every everything yeah. in your life. You need that. You need that, that story. That pain built character, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I wouldn't have a story if I if I didn't go through yeah. what I went through. So at the end of the day, man, everything was cool being being little good. You yeah. Know, which so, my mom gave me the name Governor when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? How, how, so, she, how she give you that? Where, where it come from? Cause man, it's like, see back in back in them days, like the early '80s. Mm -hmm. You know. They used to like having card parties. Mm -hmm. and, Hell um, yeah. I remember my mom mm -hmm. telling me about them stories. Yeah, so yeah. My, my fondest memory would be like a gang of her friends sitting in the dining room at the table playing cards, passing the joint around with the roach clip, <laughs> with the feather hanging from it and all that. You know what I'm saying? They're my fondest memories, man. But um, all of them used to have kids that, that they brought with them. Mm -hmm. And you know we'd be playing with playing with my. I was a big GI Joe freak. Okay. You know what I'm saying. And so like I had them set up a certain way. Like if you move the arm, I get pissed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If you move the leg the wrong way, I yeah. get mad right. as hell. No so it's like, you know what I'm saying. I'm telling everybody how I want my toys played with. Played yeah. with. <laughs> and she caught me in the action and basically was like, "You think you the governor around here? And this, this, that, and the thing. You don't govern nothing and blah, 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 whoop, whoop, and." Over the years, all right, governor. Yeah. All right, governor. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? It just stuck with me. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. That's what's up, dog. I'll be judging niggas who be having nicknames. Like who be? <laughs> I do have one. Nigga. My shit was shy. He's like you, you shy. Like damn, I ain't put no thought to my nickname. <laughs> you give me a middle name. I ain't got no cool fucking nickname, dog. All messed up. But no, you go back to you talking about your parents. Like, did they wind up like you know what I'm saying getting over their addiction or whatever like that? No, I lost my mom in uh, 05. She passed away oh, in 05. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, 
I, I accepted it. You know, I was with her the last maybe four or five months. She was sick. Mm. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was with her. I seen what she was going through. Sure. And to continue dealing with that type of pain, yeah. I, I I was cool. I was comfortable yeah. with her. Like, yeah, because she, she hold better. She ain't got to worry about that stuff. Yeah, cause that's like, she I, told me, bro. She told me, you know, not to cut you off, but no, she you told me, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you sitting here crying and you 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 emotional and, and all that. I'm the one in pain. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, stop yeah. being selfish. Let me go on here and do what I'm going to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's all good. Like, I'm good. Yeah. And once she said that, it was just like, She right. probably helped you and shit. Yeah, yeah, it helped me a lot, man. Because it's like, damn, you know, we sit around and complain about a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. But when you really got somebody that's going through something yeah. and they going through some real shit, you yeah. looking like, damn. You yeah, know what I'm saying? What I'm about. Right. And she fighting those. Like, she tried her best. Like, my mama, man, I ain't going to lie, man. My mama gave her all the fight, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, I would go deeper in detail about yeah. the cancer and all that. And her, when she did have surgery that they couldn't, they made an incision. Mm -hmm. Her, uh, Intestines was swollen, yeah. too swollen for them to close her up. Mm -hmm. So basically, the air hit it and made it terminal. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And once it became terminal, it spread it throughout her body and yeah. just took control oh, of her, bro. Fuck. But the whole thing was, even with this incision being open, the the, the cancer being terminal, she still, still scrapping. Like fight. She's yeah. scrapping. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just got her in the last yeah. round. You yeah. feel me? Hell so. yeah, man. Yeah, that shit crazy, man. Yeah. Rest in peace to moms, man. My mom yeah, passed sure. away too, man. Twenty uh, twenty twelve. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had yeah. brain aneurysm, so. Oh wow. That's wow. some shit. That, yeah. That's why I say. Uh, Sorry to hear I'm that. happy about Dr. Yeah. Drake making it because that shit reading up on it. That you it's don't, not you a don't, game, yeah, you don't it's get, not a you don't beat that, man. Yeah. Like yeah. when it hits you, it hits you. Yeah. And so it just happened, dog. Wait, come to the crib and you see she passed away. Yeah. And it's like yeah. she ain't shit you can do, man. Yeah. Yeah, Real, but like so. you said, if you my mom was a fighter too, man, with everything she did, single parent, cause my dad passed away when I was young. Okay. So shit. That's why I say there's no excuses that I can make. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, just a little five foot one woman catching a bus in the snow. <laughs> fuck I'm complaining <laughs> about. <laughs> exactly. And see that be the thing, like our our mothers, man, depending on the type of mothers that we have, yeah. you know, we look at them and we use them. Yeah. For motivation, sure. you know, some of us don't have our fathers and our mothers is playing both roles, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But like my dad, like, you know, me and my dad, our relationship really just got cool okay. once I got grown, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because my father wasn't around, he was in and out, yeah. you know, but at the, at the end of the day, you know, I respect him. Sure. Just on the strength of him being my father. Yeah. So I, you know, I really, I can't speak bad on him, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't. I don't have nothing bad to say about my dad. I just respect him. And do that yeah. make you go hard as a parent, though? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. It made me do do everything totally different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, I mean, I know what it feel like to 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 see my friends with their dads and mm -hmm. even go, like, places with my friends and their parents and just, yeah. damn, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I had that, but yeah. I, I didn't, yeah. obviously. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, man, once I started having my children, it just made me... You know, flip the flip the script and change yeah. the whole dynamics of the uh, fatherhood. Yeah, yeah, you know so sure, got to, got to. Yeah. Uh, like my dad was wrong, but it's like I said, he passed away. On, I was thirteen, mm -hmm. so you know, what I'm saying them important years when you want to talk about, you know, what I'm saying how to how to pull a chick, yeah, sex, all that, things like that, that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I had to yeah, ask yeah. my mama, like, you know, what I'm saying, ask yeah. her embarrassing ass question. So how many hoes a girl? Because <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find out, shit. <laughs> so and then my friends like, though you comfortable? Like, that's my mom. Like, we can talk like that. We good. Like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I had to ask her, who else am I ask? I'm gonna ask my brother. He a couple years older. He gonna laugh right. at me. He probably yeah. call me gay or something. Yeah. <laughs> so shit. Well, you did you have any? Speaking of brothers, did you have any brothers and sisters? Man, I got so many brothers and sisters. I done lost count. Damn. It's, it's hell of them though. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, <laughs> the one that I know of for 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 like, I mean, the ones that I know of for sure. I'm I'm close to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um. But the ones I, I ain't really too close to, you know, I know they exist. They yeah. know I exist. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. So you um, say, you know, saying you was uh, bouncing around from family member to family member. Yeah. You say that probably played a role in like your grind as a adult. Like, oh yeah, for sure that. Get it. For sure that. Yeah. Yeah, cause it's like, you know, I just look back on, you know, uh, my my days growing up, like early teenage days. You know what I'm saying? I pretty much been on my own for a long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I had a few people around me who kind of, 
you know, instill certain things in me, you know, some type of hustle and things like that. But I always naturally just been a hustler and been that, you know, been a, a, a self-sufficient person yeah. since I was a kid, you know what I mean? So I really, uh, I attribute my, 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 my teenage years to who I become, you know what I'm saying? My character, what it built. You yeah, know what hell I mean? yeah, hell yeah. Cause that, they play a major role in your life, man. Like, hell yeah, you spoon yeah. fed, sometimes when you get older, you don't know how to survive with your Oh own. yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I don't make it easy for mine. Yeah, hell yeah. You, know, you, you gotta, gotta work. work. Yeah. You gotta work. Like, I work, I grind and I did my thing when I was a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. gotta get up and I'm, I'm talking about from shoveling snow, yep. raking leaves, <laughs> yeah. all that shit. I did all that shit. I did the whole shit. So oh, yeah. it's like, you know, why would I'm. You know, I, why wouldn't I instill them type of values in mine? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how like, you know, my son, like, man, clean up behind yourself. Make sure you take care of your house because we get be an adult. Shit, girls, girls gonna love that shit. Like, damn, this motherfucker got clean that house. Like, yeah, house, you know, man. you yeah. know, I take care of his stuff. My dog, don't ever. I tell him this shit all the time, just in case. I mean, knock on wood, I don't want nothing to happen to me. But if something do, I want him to be able to take care of shit. I, I, I put game into him all the time as far as taking care of his siblings, being able to take care of himself. Don't be trying to look for handouts all the time. Man. Like, figure it out. Of course, man. we all need help, but we on the same page, yeah, bro. Like, if, I, you, if you can figure it out on yeah. your own, dog, you gonna feel good. That's why. That's why you know I, I appreciate. The, the men that my, my sons have become, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, regardless of the mistakes they might make, yeah. they might bump their head along the way. Yeah. But I can honestly say that they not out here doing damage to the world. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't fucking up out here. They, yeah. they, they fucking up in their own way, but yeah. not to the point where, you know, it's in the world, like robbing motherfuckers and yeah. all this shooting and dumb shit. Yeah. Like, these niggas are really... <laughs> The mistakes they make be shit like getting a good job and losing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit like shit. that. So I'll be happy. I'll be happy about yeah. that type of shit. Yeah, you want those mistakes for real. Yeah. You don't want to be no, no wrong phone call. Yeah, right. hell no. I, I wouldn't be able to live right if, if something happened to one of mine. You know hell what I'm yeah, saying? Man. So. Now, uh, you know, music always played an important role in our life, dog, growing mm -hmm. up and stuff. So a lot of times, we, you know, you get your mu musical influences from parents or from older people. Most definitely. So who was the people that you was, you know, getting your musical influences from and people that you was liking just off of their ear before you had your own ear for music? Well, my father was the first person to really, uh, you know, uh, put the put the whole music thing out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I feel it's genetics because my whole family, like, musically inclined yeah. to a certain degree. Okay. But with my dad, he was a singer. You know, he sung with a group called The Five Special that was managed by Ryan Banks from The Dramatics. Okay, yeah, You yeah. know, that was the first, um, the first singing group out of Detroit, R&B group out of Detroit to have a record deal with Ele Elektra okay. back in 79, 78, 79. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I always used to be in the studio or be at rehearsals. Mm -hmm. You know, I can honestly say, like, my father was around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was always with him. He didn't have no problems with keeping me with him. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I was at rehearsals, studio sessions, all that. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I, I got my first taste of music him. Doing doing that. Yeah. Like yeah. 1985, I recorded my first record. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Still I was, I was five old? years old. I <laughs> it wasn't no name to it, man. I, I was just rapping. there rapping, man. Yeah. And I, I kind of like, and the crazy shit is like, I still remember like some of the bars from it. Yeah. But like not all of it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I remember some of the shit of it. And, 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 and to the even to this day I just laugh like damn I was young saying yeah. this type of shit. You man, know what I'm I know saying? if I say so listen to Ice Cube or some shit like <laughs> Man, I'm telling you bro, and see in eighty five like all I had was like the Fat Boys, Run DMC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And shit like that. But I was off the Michael Jackson and Prince. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm glad that I had the diverse ear, yeah. you know, because I was listening to everything. You and know I think what that saying? made like the best artist, man. Like for, yeah. for example, like a Snoop Dogg, you could tell he grew up listening to everything just off his music, and I think that's the reason why he can, you know, what I'm saying, uh, 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 put himself in any motherfucking era of hip hop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And still be yeah, able to yeah, make money, still, still be able relevant. To move. Yeah, still you know be what I'm saying? That's why I say Snoop Dogg might not be he and my he and my personal top five, top ten, maybe top ten. But I believe he is the number one rapper as far as being recognized. Oh yeah. And I don't think there's yeah. nobody bigger than him as a as a rap brand because Snoop changed the game. Yeah. Bro. Snoop when Snoop came no, out, when Drake that... when Drake put Snoop out, bro, Snoop did something to the game that made it's 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 pretty much like this. Snoop was 
the Nipsey of his era. Oh hell yeah, for you sure. get what That's I'm saying? Hell but yeah. he was he hell was yeah. like a he was a uh, uh, like he was influential on every level from yeah. the rap to his swagger. To no, everybody wanted to sound like Snoop. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and I'm he looking at like nobody. Yeah, he had, exactly, bro. Man. He had his own everything. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he changed. He changed the game, and he made people love him. And then, you know, it, it, it's just the things that his his, his personality. The things that he do for his community and yeah. shit like that is just man, it, so, it just do a lot to, to me. Make doggy you, style, you can argue the best. I say I got it, it's oh, top man, five album. Hell yeah, no, without you question. can argue it being number one without question. But I say top five album, man, because I put that up there. I put um, Tupac, Me Against the World, yeah, uh, Biggie, question. Ready to Die, and fucking the Chronic, and he got shit so much to do with the Chronic. Man, That's like, without <laughs> question, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just people, people. Love what they love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy how when he dropped, Man. everybody loved him. Man. You know so, what I'm saying? Like I said, like I said, my son who four knows Snoop Dogg is. And I, some white grandma who's 90 probably mm -hmm. gonna know who fucking Snoop Dogg is. Like he, Did you, you see he line he aligned himself with uh what's her name, bro? Oh um uh, um um oh girl with the cooking show? Man, uh, Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Yeah, yeah. You align yourself with Martha Stewart, bro. Like that's a whole nother yeah. level of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for uh, sure. That shit crazy. Man, for <laughs> sure. Snoop Dogg, man. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. You ever in Detroit, man? Come on the show, bro. I love you over here, man. <laughs> That'd be Shout out here. to the OG, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. But shit, and then like we talking about that, man. You know, I always ask this question, man. Your top five rappers, mine is the obvious. Mine is the whole big pop. And Jay, who will be your top? And Nas, three? bro. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Not quick no, leaving. Nas, Nas is my top three. Out, no, Nas is my top three. Nas. I forgot to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Nas is my to my personal. This is my personal uh, top three. Is uh is, is is Pop, Nas, and Wayne. Just because okay. Wayne, I I put Wayne in my top three just because he played that part in my life when I came up that I started really listening to rap music. I graduated from from little kids rap mm -hmm. like you know I was listening MC Hammer, you know what I'm saying crisscross and shit. And once I became a a teenager. The first thing I heard was Juvenile 400. And then once I learned her, I'm like, no, who's this other nigga in this, in, yeah, in this group? Yeah. And Lil Wayne was that dude, so I always put him in my top three just because he like my introduction to so. being, you know what I'm saying, real rap head. Yeah, Wayne go. Wayne so those go. my three, though, is Pac and on, But who's your top five without those without those obvious? My top five would be my son, Warren Castro. Okay. Um... Shit, man. See, it, I w I would say dudes who really didn't get they just dudes, yeah, yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying, or don't get they just dudes. But for one, my son, I'm, I'm gonna put him up there. Okay. I'm gonna put my homeboy Kaida Man up there. All right. You know what I'm saying, Kaida Man from my hood, but he's somebody who retired too soon yeah. from rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was dope fire. For sure. You know what I'm saying. Um. Damn, man, that's, I, I don't be doing these tops, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't be doing these tops, man, but uh, I'm going to go with uh, I'm gonna go with Royce for yeah. sure. Hell yeah, Royce. But that Book of Eli, boy. Man, Book of Ryan. Book I said of Book of Ryan. Eli. Yeah, what the fuck? Book of Ryan. I said Eli. <laughs> Dude, I did that watch it. That Book of Ryan, that album, man. I'm going to throw tough. him in there. I'm going to throw a... Uh... Damn, man. This this is this is uh this is a tough one, man. Yeah, man, I know, man. I tried to, man. <laughs> this is a tough one, man. Cause you know everybody gonna say that. I don't, I don't, I don't respect everybody peeing, bro. Yeah. I, I just or I don't respect everybody as a rapper because I just you know I take it serious. Oh yeah, for sure. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I take it serious. Oh, I gotta throw my homeboy Jimmy in there. Jimmy the icon. He 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 one of the dopest niggas I know. One of the dopest niggas I done work with. Mm -hmm. Um. That's for you. Got one more. I got one more, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna go with Pierre Anthony, man. Oh yeah, we gonna talk about that too later on. Yeah, I'm gonna go with PA, man. Okay, bet. I'm gonna go with PA. Bet, bet, bet. Hell yeah, man. Cause that's always, cause it's always so easy. Whenever you ask somebody top five, you know what they gonna say? Ho, pop, big, nice. No, nah, you got me with that one, cause it's it's a lot of it's a lot of MCs <laughs> people, yeah. that you know what I'm saying. I could have named, but these yeah, are the ones that personal. came to mind. Yeah. You know, cause that, yeah. yeah, cause yeah. to me, my, the the one person that's in mind that people don't really talk about is DMX. Right, right, right. I love DMS, right, dog. You got right. two albums that went platinum in one year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And people can argue which one is the best, but I say it's, it's Dark and Hell. You know what I'm saying? That first one of course is the best. Of course, the first one. one, man. Everybody always say, me and my yeah. cousin argue all the time. He said, Flesh of My Flesh is, the, is his best album. I'm like, nah, dog. 
Yeah, it's, 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 to me, I, I I always said the first album was the best album first because it was just an era where he was so necessary, bro. Yeah, he man. brought a lot to the game. And that slipping song you know? is one of my favorite yeah, songs yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole album was just crazy, bro. Yeah. You can listen to that whole album front to back. Hell yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember right, I remember actually driving to New York, bro, playing that album the whole way there. Yeah, hell yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, when that album dropped, man, it, man. It, yeah. DMS, shout out that nigga. That's my dog. Yeah. I love DMS, yeah. man. Love and he kind of like switched up as far as like rappers being actors like yeah. like damn this nigga can rap and act nigga like for the show but shit man we before we get to the music dog just to touch back on you growing up how was you in high school did you have any other things that you wanted to be like what you went to sports heavy like how was you as a as a high school student initially I went into high school knowing that I was gonna hoop because I wanted to hoop yeah I used to love playing basketball like basketball was my shit you yeah, know love, what I'm saying yeah, I love that shit. like and I I could actually play so yeah. it wasn't like it's different between niggas who just like to hoop and then yeah, niggas yeah, yeah. no 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 <laughs> I, I was actually a hooper yeah you know what i mean that's that, that's another thing that's how i, I met royce initially through, hoops? Uh, through hooping in oak park at the at the playground in oak park okay 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 but um yeah bro i, I got into high school mm -hmm. i i went in with hooping on my mind yeah and then uh life happened yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. life happened man and, and put the ball down huh? yeah i kind of Shot, shot away from it, yeah. you know, just on the strength of just doing like a lot of other shit and that I really had them no business yeah. doing. Oh yeah, for sure, we know what's up. Gang banging and all kind of crazy shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't had, I had like L.A., you know, I had ties in L.A. going back and forth out there all my life, so yeah. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just a lot of shit started playing a role in my up, my upbringing as far as you know my teenage years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you think like if you if you would have been like. You know what I'm saying? In, in the school heavy as far as like the hoops, you think you would have you, you would have did something with it? I doubt it. Yeah. And the only reason, uh only reason I say I doubt it mm -hmm. um is because uh it was just too it was just too much shit going on personally okay, okay, in my okay, in my in my household yeah. that I, I you know You couldn't put hundred percent into yeah, it. Yeah, you, you feel me like you know, ain't, ain't nothing worse than the, the the person you love the most. You know, being on drugs and yeah, yeah. So all yeah, that you ain't shit. About you nothing just, else. Yeah. That's what I say about my little bro who just uh who just left out here, man. He was cold at hooping, like he was like a little motherfucking Westbrook D Rose type yeah. nigga, like going there and get the contact and everything. But when my mom passed away, he had fucking senior high school. We going to college to hoop. He ain't even really like he, he's focused yeah. on shit. Cause your biggest mm -hmm. fan ain't around no more. Yeah, you lose mama, man. That's it's everything. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, like my dog, I ain't been the same. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and I'm yeah. man, I'm 40 years old, yeah. and that my mama time. died in 05. I'm still tripping. Like, yeah. it's yeah. still new to me. Like, it's still fresh. You yeah. know, it's what I'm always saying? be, dog. Yeah. Always so, be, always be. Dog. Yeah. So, man, you with the music, man. How, how when you got your own ear, we talked about how you, you know, what I'm saying, listen to music based mm -hmm. on your pops and stuff. But who was the people that you would listen to once you got your own ear? I'm like, man, this rap shit is dope. It ain't even got to be rap, just music, period. Man, I ain't going to lie, bro. I, my soul so old. Like, yeah. I was I was a young nigga listening to Isaac Hayes and, <laughs> yeah. and, and Curtis Mayfield. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Curtis Mayfield was the truth. My you know what I'm saying? Like, heavy. Man, Bobby Womack. Yeah, yeah. I was young listening to that type of shit. But what it did was, I ain't going to lie, that shit helped me develop as a producer. Yeah, hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, when I make beats, I put soul in my beats. Yeah, you, got, you know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't just, oh, you can go, you can touch on this, touch on that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And, yeah. That, and, that, and you know what? And, and even today, you know, I still had that soulful approach to all my music. Yeah. And it's like, this is the reason why it's not as common as the shit that you hear that's popular today for sure you know what i'm saying because this ain't that's it's on another level yeah you know what yeah. i mean hell yeah and i can easily do what everybody else is yeah, doing regular but, copycat yeah but copy it's so many it. it's so many i'm like it ain't enough me yeah you know what i'm sure. saying yeah. i want to i want to create a wave to where i see niggas coming up trying to sound yeah. like them yeah. you know what i'm sure. saying hell so yeah. you to. know that that's that man i'm telling you bro like Listening to old school shit, Prince, like yeah. Rick James, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like all these are producers that I rank high. Yeah, Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. outside of the fact that they were artists, they were also composers and yeah. producers. Prince can play everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, 
I'm gonna tell you one of the coldest ones that everybody slept on back then. What that? Barry White. Okay, yeah, yeah. put me in here, dog. Barry White. If you go back and you listen to Barry White, bro, like his yeah. music, he orchestrated a lot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. I don't even think people understand that he had something to do with composing the Love Boat uh, theme song. Damn, I don't you know. know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like, man. Yeah. Barry White was a hell of a producer and composer, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You put me up on some game real quick. Yeah, check him out, bro. Man. Tap in. Go I mean, I, 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 I knew about Barry White as far as the singing, because my mom loved Barry mm -hmm. White. Like, my mom and my dad played Barry White. I listened to him. Remember Temptation, Dave Ruffin, oh, yeah, yeah, A. Yeah, Kendrick yeah, had that good-ass yeah. voice and shit. Like, uh -huh. And then my dad be playing, like, Bob Marley. Like, man, man heavy Bob Marley, Marley, another one of the top producers yeah. in, my, in my league. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's, that's in that... That realm, like Bob Marley, like I can't like real talk. If I listen to Bob Marley certain songs, I might fucking share a tear, dog. Yeah. Just think about my pops, dog. Like he was heavy, and I mean he had a whole book, of just different. Uh, it was like different albums. He stole it, but <laughs> <laughs> he stole it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but dog, uh, my dad was like a CD head. Like mm -hmm. I'm talking about albums and CDs and cassettes, bro. To man, stacks like closet full. Yeah. Like and speaking of dog, we always talked about this man on the show. Give me a song. Or an album that define a moment in your life, like an important moment. It could be a happy or sad, but just something that if you hear this song or this CD, it always take you back to that time. Um, it'll be. I w I want to say compositions from Anita Baker. Okay. You know what I'm saying because my mama was the biggest Anita <laughs> Baker fan. I'm yeah, talking yeah. about man. And it, it became a point to where once I got grown, I understood why she loved Anita so much. Okay. Because doing music, everything is about sound. Yeah. Man, all Anita Baker music is mixed to a crisp, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is mixed properly. The musicians that she used was they was dope as hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And her voice to go on top of it was the icing yeah, on the yeah. cake. So it's like I know a lot of niggas don't won't feel me when I while I'm saying this. But <laughs> Anita Baker and Side A made some of the best music ever, bro. Hater, hater, he hate, he don't like Side A. Man. I don't know why, <laughs> bro. He it's say fucking, fucking suicide, suicide music, bro. Are you serious, bro? Yes, man. No, he crazy, oh, man, nah, bro. He crazy. Side A, Side A, and Anita Baker Duh. has the best sonically, like sonically composed music that I've heard. And you know what? So your OG was those was she those are two her two people. No, Sade, I was just I, I was just, just I was just I just had a crush on her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I like the music though. You so feel me? My mom, she was heavy on those two. No, people. but but Anita Baker though, like my kids was it's funny because my kids was laughing at me not too long ago because I was just I was painting the hallway. Yeah. And while I'm painting the hallway, I got Anita Baker playing and Hell I'm yeah. singing it. I'm actually singing the lyrics yeah. to the song. They're looking at me like, nigga, you a gangster. Duh. You rap crip. Hell yeah. All this shit going up, nigga, you singing Anita Baker? Man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Shit, you know what I'm Man, saying? Every time I hear Anita Baker, I just think about my mom cleaning and making pancakes, dog. Like, Cooking, Same man. shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Same shit. And then, like, I, I remember uh, this. That's why I said this. 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 This album. Uh, I'm. I'm trying to think. It's compositions. The one where uh, the song "I Apologize" was on it. Mm -hmm. But I remember her playing this record while decorating the damn Christmas tree. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell so yeah. I, I, I. And she ran it back, ran it back, kept running it back. And I'm just <laughs> like, damn, she loved that song. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hell yeah. I remember no. that for sure. Like you always got that song where that CEO, that artist, that just bring it back in oh, time. Yeah, like yeah, damn. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then Baker definitely won as far as like this thing about my moms and my pops yeah, and stuff yeah, and them yeah, yeah, cleaning yeah. up, smoking. Like they playing music. Like and that's why now whenever I do like music, I be playing. Yeah. So when somebody come to the crib, we kicking it. Got to throw some music yeah, on, yeah, throw some yeah, tunes yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Even though everybody say I'm a bad DJ, <laughs> <laughs> got to throw your music on, dog. Fuck what they say. Play your music. Hell yeah, yeah, I go that much. I be playing some Nas. Everybody mother like, nigga, what? We we need to get hype, like nigga. I am hype. Fuck that. Nas is hype. Hell yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> so man, we was talking about you know saying cassettes and music and stuff. Give me what's the first CD that you stole or purchased, dog? Because you know. <laughs> that you See, remember. nigga. You got to make up your mind, bro, because you forgot. You talking to a nigga that grew up in the earth that, that's an 80s baby, bro. We ain't always had no goddamn CDs okay, and shit. Well, okay, what well, album or cassette? All right, now. Nah, <laughs> now you talking my language and shit. <laughs> nah, bro. Uh, <laughs> nah, man. My first my first two albums was uh was uh was The Fat Boys, yeah. Jailhouse Rock. Okay. 
and uh Run DMC. Run DMC. Yeah, the rock, uh, the, the the album with Rock Box yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so them, them was my first two. It was the first two rap albums. Yeah. The other albums that she bought me was I remember getting Thriller. Yeah. And I remember getting uh, what Prince album was that, man? It was a Prince album. I think the, it was the album with Soft and Wet on it. Okay, okay. The Prince album. So hey. I remember, I remember those four. I was, I had them four albums, and I wore them bitches out. Who do you think was the who, the better performer, dog, when it came to Prince or Michael Jackson, dog? People Michael Jackson all, all day. You know, the reason why because Michael Jackson was a showman, bro. Yeah. Like he, he, you know. He was a showman. I mean, it ain't nothing you can take from him. One thing you can say about Prince, though, that nigga was performing in Hills. Now, <laughs> dancing, now see, I, 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 didn't, I didn't really get that far off the yeah. tour because I just love the music. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. what I will say is this, is some people might look at me crazy. Even though Michael Jackson is an icon, mm -hmm. I always like Prince music better because it was funky. A lot of people say that, though. A lot of people say that. You ain't you like, ain't I, love the, I love that funky shit. That yeah. he was, you know, man, you, what you gonna get, bro? That shit's <laughs> Crispy, crunchy chicken. Damn, crispy, crunchy chicken, yeah, man. Dog. I don't even eat meat. <laughs> this nigga about, about to have me pass, uh, pass me a wing, nigga. Dog, God, damn, that shit smell good. Maybe because I'm just hungry, but that shit smell good in the motherfucker. They say, fuck this hell. What are you doing, nigga? Man, that shit just kept hitting me. I'm like, nah, I know it ain't the trail, man. <laughs> Because I eat that shit on the regular and it don't smell like that, nah. And I'm looking like, what the fuck this nigga got? <laughs> no, no. That crispy, crusty chicken, that motherfucker ain't. God damn, yeah, that shit smell. Yeah, we man. gotta wrap this shit up, man. bro, because I'm ready to eat. <laughs> I'm fucking with this nigga. Dog, no, that shit good as hell, man. But you, man, with you, man, coming into your own and starting music, dog, and being a rapper, man, like, how was it your first time in the studio, man? Like, shit, my first time, I was five years old, bro. I, I went in there and just recorded. I recorded, okay. like, my dad put me in the studio. See, it was after one of his rehearsals and shit. Yeah. You know, they, they, they always used to have rehearsals in the studio, okay. like, before they actually record their songs. Because okay. they was actually yeah. with a, they was playing with bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. when the music was real. So, yeah. one day they was rehearsing, getting ready to record some shit for another album. Mm -hmm. And uh, the drummer and the bass player was there. Yeah. And the motherfuckers was grooving. Okay. And he was like, he seen me bobbing my head mm -hmm. and put me in the booth. And I just went crazy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, shit, yeah. I think it was like 10 minutes long. Yeah. And that's when you was recording off the um the two-inch reels. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Niggas yeah. don't know nothing about that oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know, it was, it, and we was uh, at Sound Suite. It was an old studio right there on Puritan and Greenfield. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It ain't there no more. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your first that time in the studio. That was my first time in the studio. What, now, being a, right now, man, being older and stuff, what's some shit, like a lot of times people be in the studio, they need some chicken, they need some food, some drinks, some women. What's your, what's, what should you guys have to have a good session, dog? Or just you and the producer? Like, how it gotta be? Shit, I'm the producer. Oh, so it's just you and yourself, huh? I just, I, you know, I, it used to be a point in time, you know, before I got older, man, it was a point in time where I used to love having a studio full of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's like, man, if y'all don't shut the fuck or go somewhere else, yeah, yeah, for I don't, sure, yeah. I'm trying to concentrate. You're trying to have a, you know yeah, hanging niggas in mud. Look, the older I get, my mind don't work like it used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out the studio. Hell, yeah. Go upstairs, do something. But, you know, I, I think with me, more so just, a good vibe, man. Like yeah. the, my vibe just got to be good be, when yeah. I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? I don't really need much. Like I said, I'm a vegetarian, so when it comes to the food and shit like that, yeah. I eat a salad and be straight. Now, I'm saying, like you, a bowl of you, fruit. Or talking about the shit. chicken stuff, man. When, when the fuck you become a vegetarian? What made you man, do that, I'm man? Four years in, man, and it's been a struggle like a motherfucker. But I'm strong. <laughs> what you strong. What you miss the most, dog? What me chicken? I miss chicken. Damn, man, you fucking up, dog. Listen, bro, <laughs> ain't shit worse going worse than going to Chipotle and having to order a motherfucking uh, <laughs> uh, a bowl with with just lettuce, cheese, and fucking black beans and rice with no chicken. They that chicken at Chipotle, man. Yeah, oh my that's god, different. That's different. Chicken, oh my god. So you know what I'm saying? I, I be in my feelings every time I go to Chipotle at Q Double, man. But yeah. I'm over it now. You know what I'm saying? Like me and that bitch broke up four years ago. Yeah. So. so you did that just to yeah. make better health, just to get your better health, right? and then just you know. I, I think, man, just doing my research on, on, on meat and, mm -hmm. you know, the shit just bad for your system, period. Sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I just kind of... Because some people do that shit, but they still eat, like, their seafood. Yeah, like yeah. Fish. I, don't, I never say, hate fish. I hate seafood with a oh, passion, man. bro. I hate that what? shit, man. I hate some that shrimp, shit, Some shrimp, some motherfucking lobster tails, oh dog. God, bro, crap. That shit makes me ugh. <laughs> Come on, nigga. Man, I knew it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's get to your, your last project, man, Son of Southwest, man. 
we always do, you know, I love doing top five stuff, man. So my top, I'm a, I want to know your top five songs on the, on the album. I'm going to give you my top five. On the album? Yeah. My All top right. five on your album, dog, is uh is Live and Let Live. Dope. Uh, love. Okay. Uh, Blue Tears. Okay. Um, Sun of Southwest mm -hmm. and Burning Bridges. Okay. That was my top five. On fire. There. You got a fire ass top yeah. five. Nigga. And then I want to know about the um with the blue tears, dog. Like, how did that? How did Nip Death affect you? And did you know him personally? Yeah, I, yeah. I will get to that. But let okay, me, but you get top five. Top five. So my top five. Number one, I'm gonna go in order. Mm -hmm. Number one is definitely gonna be Sign of Southwest because it's so much emotion and so much realness in that record. You okay. know what I'm saying? It's um number two. Would be solid. That's my shit. Bro. That's your heart solid too. is just, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Number three will be uh, your life before mine, which okay. is produced by Royce. Okay. Um. Number, damn, what I do three? Yep. Okay. Number four is love. Okay. And then uh, number five would be. I'm trying to think between. Number five would be Hey Mama. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? So that's your top five. Yeah. So yeah. I, yeah, cause I the, the whole the whole project dope. I ain't saying that just you sit down man. and shit, dog. But, Appreciate it. Appreciate but dog, it, man. with the, like I said, the blue tears, man. To get back on that, man. Like as far as Nip, like I could <clears throat> my my short little story. As far as of course I don't know Nip. Right. But right. Right. He's the reason why I started the podcast, okay. and I tell you why because I was always t um um talking about starting the podcast, but never did it. I was always a talker, dog, and just bullshit. Like I talk about it, but don't go through with it. So when Nip passed away, man, like, I got on Nip, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't getting on him too early, but I got on him when he dropped the Crenshaw album. Right, right, and right. And when everybody, he was sending it for $100 and stuff, yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, yeah, helped yeah. me through some times in Texas, dog, fucking with the wrong woman. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, shit. yeah, was, yeah. He had CD yeah. all the time, like, that shit, that shit helped me a lot. Yeah. So just him as a motherfucking businessman, and him being 33 when he passed away, he my age and did so much and affected so many people in his community, I'm like, dog, ain't no reason why I shouldn't start just doing what the fuck I want to do. And just changing because that could change my life. That could change somebody's career when they come on this bitch. Anything. So I looked at that little situation as like, dog, like your time can be up at any day. You know what I'm saying? So why not just go forward with what you want to do and keep pushing? So Nip, I always say he the reason why I like said fuck it. I call him one Saturday like nigga, we doing a podcast tomorrow. I got artists on here. We gonna start it, and that's the reason why this podcast started because of that whole shit. And we had. Episode fifty five. That's hell dope yeah. as hell. Hell yeah. So that's why. So what yeah. did? How did that? How did he affect you? And like. So I mean, like I said, bro, I've been going back and forth to L.A. all my life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And being involved in gang culture and all that. Certain niggas you gonna meet. Certain niggas you gonna be cool with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No matter what set they from. Yeah, the whole sure. nine. Um, it happened with Nip. The way it happened with Nip was. My first initial time meeting Nip was by mistake. Mm -hmm. Cause they had a store called Sloss and Tees. Yeah. And I had a show at the Key Club. Okay. You know, and uh I'm like, damn, how can I represent, you know what I'm saying, to show some love to LA? Mm -hmm. And I just kept seeing niggas wearing these Crenshaw shirts. And I'm like, man, I gotta find out where to get them from. So one of the homies had put me up on the location. Boom, I go, I shoot over there and shit. Yeah. And go in the store. His pops was working the register. His brother was in there stocking, like doing all the shit, you know, run, just running the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I remember shopping, looking around for the, the exact color shirt that I wanted, whatever, whatever. And boom, Nip walk in. When Nip walk in, he on the phone, but even then he was on his business shit. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, damn, that's the homie right there. Like that's the one nigga I be listening to and shit. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I ain't really say much to him. You know, I, I know how niggas are, like some yeah. niggas. One thing about him, he wasn't no Hollywood acting nigga, none of that. You feel me? He uh -huh. was really a straight hood nigga. You yeah. feel me? Um, so, you know, I get my shirts. Nah, I like to stun a little bit, talk my <laughs> shit. Yeah. I got my shirts, yeah. not just one. Yeah, got a couple of them Bought like six or seven of them motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Um... But yeah, so I, I'm at the register and whatnot, and I'm looking and I'm seeing all these different mixtapes and shit. So I'm like, damn! Around that time, I had just dropped me a mixtape yeah. called uh, "No More Mr. Nice Good." Okay. So I'm like, damn! I wonder how can I? Let me just ask. So I, I asked they old dude. I'm like, you know, 
uh, what, what it's going to take for me to be able to leave some of my, my music in here. Yeah. Out of nowhere, Nip, like, we don't get it. We don't give away weak shit to our people. You know, some of that shit we just throw in the bags on people. And I'm like, well, shit, I mean, I'll leave one with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can listen to it. And I could, you know, I'm going to be here for a few days. I'll just come back. I'm like, no, nah, we can listen to it right now. Yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> shit. All right. <laughs> so he threw the motherfucker on. Yeah. And, um, Got through the intro, and then the first record on there yeah. is a remake of uh, What's My Name. I did a remake of Snoop Dogg, What's My Name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got the in his head, and it's like, this shit hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just And from that point on, you know, he was like, shit, leave, leave, uh, leave about 20 or 30 of them. So I left him. Yeah. And uh, that was the first time, you know what I'm saying? The second time I met him, uh, they had opened up the Marathon store. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we in there. And I'm like, yeah, right, you remember me? We get to talk, talking, chopping it up. He like, nigga, I still got your shit. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. he still got, still had a copy of my shit. You know, that was that was crazy. Man. Um, third time he was in Detroit. He yeah. did a signing of, uh the, when he dropped the the victory lap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He came here and did a signing at the uh, DTLR. Yeah, yeah. On the west side, over there on Greenfield and uh, Grand River. Yeah. Met him that met him that week. Um. Then, um, shit, the fourth time I met him is when we really had, like, our, we had a conversation, conversation, conversation. I yeah. mean, we talked the other times, but yeah, we really we had a conversation, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, um, I pretty much, I can honestly say that I'm the first person that brought his music to Detroit and gave it to a DJ. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. when we exchanged mixtapes, uh, after the first initial meeting, I was banging the shit out of this shit. And I went to one of my closest DJs that I rock with from my neighborhood. Yeah. I gave it to him and he list, listened to it and was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, dog really nice, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? So he yeah. started spinning this shit at parties and all yeah, that. Hell yeah, So, man. you know, um, but to know what type of person he was and yeah. to have my opportunities to meet the nigga and just... You know, chop it up with him, even if it's just for 20, 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 I learned a lot. I walked away with something. Yeah, he yeah. walked away with something. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, quite naturally, I'm older than him. But, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We we bounced off each other a few different, yeah, yeah. you know, a few different uh, pieces of game and shit. Mm -hmm. And um, just running into him in different places and going to L.A. And he there, I'm there. He remember a nigga. Yeah, yeah. Keep it moving, yeah, neighborhood. Yeah. Keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy, bro. Cause like he influenced so many people, man. And I always get comparisons. You know what I'm saying? From my LA homies, I always get comparisons because our rap styles is a lot. Yeah. You know, and you could go to my music from like damn near 15, 20 years ago yeah, and hear yeah. my flow patterns and yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah. And they the same. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not like all the new niggas that's getting hip to me now. It's yeah. like, man, you got like a nip. Yeah. Like, nigga, you yeah. better go listen to, yeah. listen to uh, uh, what the fuck, Free At Last mixtape and yeah. my uh, Debt Collector album. Like, nigga, that shit was yeah, back then. two decades ago. Yeah, you better go that. check that, nigga, and listen yeah. to that before you For get sure. to talking that shit. But dude was just a real nigga, man. Yeah. And he was just somebody that everybody you know i just hate so many people got hit to him once he died yeah should have been able to you know fall in love with who he was yeah, while he was living but you know it, it's yeah, it, it's, it's a hard it was a hard loss for a yeah. lot of people man yeah man because i'm like i called this dude like dog he was like nip nip got shot I'm like yeah i seen that shit, man yeah, oh he yeah. gonna pull it through i'm like dog nip died like damn that shit fucked up like, the crazy shit is bro i got the scoop on all the shit that happened that day yeah. from very credible, reliable motherfuckers. I mean, you know, one thing about being invo involved with gang culture, mm -hmm. the word get around quick. Oh, yeah, for sure. As soon as some shit happen, the homies on the phone, like, hey, low, yeah. boom, such, 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 such. Yeah. That day, the nigga that, the, the devil ass nigga that did that shit to, 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 to Nip, yeah. he was all, he was on, he was on tip. Yeah, all that day okay, before yeah. he even got the nip. Yeah, yeah, you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. These are just phone calls. I was getting boom. Every 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 time nigga did something, I'm getting a phone call. Then the last phone call was he got nip. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the even more crazier part, 
he died on my daughter. The shit happened on my daughter's birthday, my oldest daughter's birthday. Man. My daughter's birthday is March 31st. That's man. the day that nigga got killed. Man, that shit, that shit was all fucked up, man. Because you lost a real nigga, somebody who was like really on his shit and was really building with people and letting people know how the game was and stuff. Like, he wasn't holding no game in. He was teaching every interview you hear, dog. He, he teach you some shit. Oh, man, major record labels you know hated Nip. Oh, yeah, I, man, I bet. They I hated bet. Nip. Like, they... Man, Nip was giving niggas so much game, and, and it, it was fucking up. Man. Like, he had niggas that was already in contract looking at the label yeah, like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah. Duh. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, when like, that Crenshaw album don't come, I'm like, duh. I'm like, who is this dude selling a $100, $100 tape? Like, yeah, and then yeah. I got to look at it and see what he was doing, how he was doing it, what come with it, and stuff like that. Like, dog, dude, cold. And then to actually hear the album, like, man, this shit sweet. Like, yeah, this shit yeah. hard. I remember every time we go to the gym, nigga, we listen to that shit every motherfucking time we go to the gym. Listen to that motherfucker Chris Ryle. So you yeah. don't believe in that conspiracy? I'm a conspiracy person a little bit. I'm talking about that. I feel uh, like they was trying to take my nigga yeah. out because he was too. Yeah, you believe that shit? No, like, that shit was all hood politics, yeah. bro. It ain't had nothing to do with no yeah. conspiracy. So hating like, ass niggas and shit. Yeah, it's just a hating ass nigga, bro. Like yeah. a nigga that wanted to be him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, yeah, and then the nigga up, pride though. was hurt. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You tell the nigga, hey, go get your paperwork, bro. Let's try to straighten this shit out. Yeah. You know, we we hearing the whole hood hearing yeah, you telling my nigga like. Go get your paperwork. Let me read over your paperwork, nigga. Let me see what's cracking. Yeah. He ain't like that shit. Yeah. Don't no nigga want to be called no snitch, especially if you got a reputation of holding it down and being a certain type of nigga for, yeah, yeah. for so long, and then yeah. you finally got to wear that rat jacket. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. don't no nigga like that shit. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. So, nigga pride was hurt. Then on top of that, the nigga just, you could tell the nigga just wanted to be nigga, yeah. bro. Everybody wanted to, every, every, a lot of niggas wanted to be dude. Man, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Up, man. Man, rest in peace to Nip, dog. Like I said, I I fuck with him before, and I still be bumping this shit now. Like, right. good dude, good shit, man. What's so up with, with the Sun of Southwest, man? Like, you feel like you got enough enough? Uh, how was the response to it? Like, you feel like you got enough love in the shit, city, or, bro? <laughs> I just know love period. Not even I ain't period, gonna even like, lie man. to you, man, because I dropped the album in August on the twenty first of August. Yeah. yeah. Um, I went to sleep. Before I went to sleep, I probably had like maybe. 4,500 to 5,000 streams. Yeah. I woke up the next day, I was at 120,000 streams. Damn, yeah. That's the most, like the fastest response I've gotten okay. off of any project that I dropped. Now, don't get me wrong, like you can go look at the numbers mm -hmm. and see like, oh, let me pull it up real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm going to just go off Spotify. I ain't going to even go to Apple Music. Okay. But uh, let me see. When I go to Spotify for artists, right? Mm -hmm. Now that now you seeing this, so you know I ain't capping. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So I'm pulling up my Spotify for artists. Okay. And then I'm gonna go here. Let me see. Yeah, I be. This shit, uh, it, it's gonna take a second to oh, yeah, know. Oh, yeah, 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 because of the whole yeah, we in basement and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but like. When I woke up and seen 120,000 streams, nigga, I had to refresh the screen. Yeah, I thought I was tripping. Real. Yeah, 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 I thought damn. I was tripping. Yeah. And come to find out, I wasn't tripping. That shit was all real streams. Yeah. Hell yeah. So then, next few days, shit's just shooting up, shooting up, shooting up. Yeah. Look where it's at now. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, yeah 192,000. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. 192,000 streams. So yeah. That's just Spotify. Yeah. So I ain't so talking about, about Pandora, yeah, Tidal, uh, Tidal Apple, motherfucking yeah. Apple Music. So, you know, this album has really put me in a position. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it opened a lot of eyes. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And made people really start paying attention and tapping into who I am. Yeah. And then not only that. I go back and I check my my sales and my my you know just my numbers on my uh, my older projects. Yeah. The numbers that spiked on those hey, as well. Because they gonna win because on that. It is. Seen some other shit. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. And speaking of dog, the album Betrayal. Yeah. You yeah, got a man. song in that motherfucker that I think every young nigga should listen to when it coming up. It's called uh, Think Bigger. Oh man. Because on that bitch, you you giving out some motherfucking game and some gems and it's this one. It is it's this line. Well, maybe it's a couple bars you said dog. That, that had me thinking like you could think so much shit when you was like silence all the tough niggas them doing the most but ain't doing enough niggas yeah. strap on me praying I ain't got a bus nigga yeah. fans lurking all he want to do is cuff niggas yeah. it's so much shit that you could think with that shit because them niggas who think they doing something but they, they ain't really doing shit them niggas posting on Instagram about what should be going on but they ain't really having the hood shit like that and then I was just talking to this nigga on the way here mm -hmm. I almost got hit by this nigga I'm like dog 
Like, what if I was rah rah with this nigga and I ain't got no motherfucking gun? You don't want to use that bitch, but sometimes you know you gotta use that yeah, motherfucker you got to. in the wrong in the wrong situation and shit. And then with the cops, you already know what's going on now, like yeah, with everything. Yeah. So yeah. that that shit right there, like what when you when you wrote that shit, like that them lines, like what that had you thinking, like as far as like them ain't doing enough niggas and all that shit. So the whole thing was with that record, man. For one, let me clear this up too. I want to clear the air for a lot of people who actually think they know a nigga. I don't write. I haven't wrote a rap since 2001. Yeah. So let's get that out the air. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get so sick of niggas talking about, man, he's spitting written. No, nigga, I don't never. I, I get a beat, and whatever that beat say to me, I talk back to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I ain't used a piece of paper and pen to write a rap in forever. Mm-hmm. Now, to get to that, yeah. uh, think bigger. Just the whole concept, right? I was I was just chilling one day, mm-hmm. and I'm uh, I'm I, I just the type of shit I do. I'm weird, bro. Like <laughs> I, I sit up and I, and I watch YouTube and I, I watch all political shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I sit there and watch CNN, MSNBC, mm-hmm. and all that type of shit, right? And then uh, I I like to watch Minister Farrakhan. I like to watch some of his speeches so, hell yeah. but i was watching malcolm x yeah, this malcolm particular day. Intro, yeah, yeah, yeah i'm watching malcolm x and that very day i'm sitting there watching that shit and i'm like damn who told you to hate the race that you belong to you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. who 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 told you this shit and it's just like damn i was just having this conversation with one of the homies like these niggas really hate themselves and they don't even realize it you yeah, know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, man yeah. we got to think bigger than that and it just hit me like think bigger Gotta think bigger, bro. Mm-hmm. So, in those lyrics, you know, I know mama see me now. Life yeah. is hard when she was living, but it's easy now. Yeah. My kids proud when they see me on the TV now. So, I'm looking at the fact that when they can pull up a video of their dad or see me on certain interviews and shit like that, they really seeing me mm-hmm. in a light that they don't see me in yeah. at home. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm not Big Gub at the crib. Yeah. So, when they see Big Gub, it's like, damn, my dad really out here. And I'm yeah. just looking at their faces. I'm looking at their reaction. It's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? My shoes cost at least three thousand. Wow. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you got that one part of the song where you talking about uh uh think bigger from the prison that we sitting in. I yeah, I'm, I'm thinking sense. bigger. I'm thinking way bigger yeah. than than the prisons that. Because at the end of the day, it's like dog. For one, I know I'm at the age where if I get locked up and I get a number of years slapped on me, I'm either not coming home or when I do come home, I'm gonna be saying? old as fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. You know oh, yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to become a senior citizen. I want to set aside a bunch of millions for yeah. my grandkids so they can get it in. Yeah. These is the things I'm thinking about. I'm thinking ahead because, you know, my son, my son just had a, my son just had a daughter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to my baby, my my grandbaby Winter. Okay. But like, what's gonna happen when I die and I ain't leaving nothing for my children, yeah. let alone their children? Yeah, for sure. It's, you know, you got to think big. You got to yeah. think. Ahead, you gotta think beyond. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. that was just my whole. No, cause that that shit, that's on hard. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I, I, I play that shit about ten times. Man, like... I, you know what? And people keep telling me like, bro, you need to go ahead. Even though it's on your older album, you need to go ahead and shoot a video for that because yeah. that song is so necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot. No, a because I, for I, it, I advise like, nigga, if, you, if you're a young and dog, like, go listen to that song, man, off the Betrayal album, man, Think yeah. Bigger, cause that shit, he was, you was, you was fucking. On every bar, you were saying some shit, dog. Like that, that made some motherfucking sense. So I advise anybody young coming up, man, go listen man, to that man, shit, check I it out. I appreciate man. that, bro. And on the on the on the on the cover, dog, you got my dog producer guy, the part of my uh Southwest on the one. Yeah, <laughs> now now the, the, the crazy part is, you know, when he did that for me, yeah. he don't even know what he did. Okay, you know what I'm saying because he put me in an exclusive ass position. Yeah, everybody from my hood. Wanted that hat, yeah, yeah, yeah. or wanted that hoodie, yeah. or that T-shirt, and it was just like, <laughs> I'm the only one. Hell yeah, I'm the only one. Y'all can get in touch with him if, yeah. he, if he do it for y'all. Then yeah. cool, but, yeah, no, but I'm the one and one. I'm, right I'm, now. I'm, <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that shit just made it so exclusive. And then when they made the album cover, a lot of people was like, "Yeah, he really for real about that Southwest yeah. shit. Like that's yeah. he loved his hood. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why I dropped the album because. You know, when you out of town, you hear about the east side, you hear about the west side, you oh, yeah. hear about 
Seven Mile, you hear about Eight Mile, but you don't never hear about Fourth Street, Jefferson, Schaefer, and how to drive visit the road. Yeah. You never hear about my side of town, bro. Oh shit! But then when you in the city though, and the chick says she stands out west, you might not even want to go over there. But the thing <laughs> is, no. But <laughs> it, it also depends on what part of Southwest too, yeah, because yeah, you know yeah. you got the number streets over there, you got the the Latino. I mean, you know. You yeah. got that area, but then you got my area, which is like the last of the Mohicans. Yeah. So it's like, nigga, once you leave my hood, you are in the suburbs. Yeah. Lincoln Park, Allen Park, yeah. all that type of yeah, shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So my hood is pretty much like the, that shit look like, nigga, if you go out in my hood at night and you take a 75 to exit 43A yeah. and you come up, all you seeing is factories and shit. So you yeah, thinking yeah, you yeah, in a yeah. whole nother world and <laughs> shit, like yeah. the lights and the fire coming from the smokestacks and yeah, all. Yeah, that yeah. shit look like, nigga, you on another planet. I remember my wife, I was going to get down about that shit. You sure you want to work in Southwest? <laughs> <laughs> You I'm hoping the, like for the Del Rey area, Pat, a little bit past Del Rey. Okay. So like that's a part of us though. Shit, yeah. Del Rey right there. Yeah. Like that's the part I'm talking about. This yeah. shit look like <laughs> look like you in a yeah. motherfucking uh, uh, another planet. Hey, dog, like, like, speaking on Southwest and stuff <laughs> and junk and you and like Southwest like making noise as far as like the movie game. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Saying? My, my, hey, my, my girl, girl, my girl, yeah. Beezy, yeah. and 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 T from Moolah Films and yep. Beezy, directed yep. by Beezy. Them, them niggas is they they. Are very very representative of Southwest Detroit. Oh, yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying, and they hold sure. that shit down. You got uh, uh, Murder Pain. Murder Pain. You know all the all the all of the people that's really putting Southwest on the yeah, map rest now. Piece of trail. Was he yeah, from Southwest? Yeah. Tell, I don't know. Tell, I don't tell, think Tell was from. Uh, I don't think Tell was from yeah, Southwest. Okay, okay, okay. But I know Murder Then again, Pain. he might. I don't don't quote me on that. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, um, again, you know, we still gotta have somebody from my part of Southwest mm -hmm. that's gonna. Yeah, and you know I'm saying you, you got we were talking about you got the movie coming out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, Ledger, the Ledger, Ledger, yeah. Ledger. My bad, Ledger. Uh, you um, how how are you associated with this? Is this something that you came up with? I wrote the movie, and I'm a, I'm gonna be in the movie. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But okay. can you give us a little bit of uh, 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 what it's about without giving too much away? All right, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gotta wait for this one. Okay, okay. So I see you had uh, you know you, you was casting and stuff like that. Yeah, y'all. I got a uh, casting call today. Matter of fact, at five o'clock. Okay, so when uh, when can we uh, see this on the screen? When you thinking? What timetable? Well, we shooting mid February, man. And okay. the way the way my bro uh, Maniac Jay Lamont, yeah. aka Maniac, the way he worked. Yeah, man. I wouldn't be surprised if this dropping the summer. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, if y'all need a third number two, man, <laughs> you know, dog, you, you need somebody out there thinking like that. Nah, man, I'm actually gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing another, uh, another call for extras and casting and shit right, like man, that. I'm gonna you come know what I'm saying? But you need a smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be on the block like, nigga, hey, man, they went that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely gonna be a deep movie. It's yeah. not gonna be your typical hood shit. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be the typical storyline yeah. and shit like that. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna make a motherfucker sit down and watch it. What made you wanna tap into acting, John, man? Man, I've been acting for a while, bro. Like, yeah. you know, I, I, the first movie I was actually in, the real movie that I was actually in, was a movie called Envy. Okay. With uh, me, Ray J, AZ, Chico the Bars, Lisa Ray, Maya Campbell, uh, yeah. a few other people. Okay. Um, you know that that was uh the first the first time that I actually stepped foot on the set and acted, mm -hmm. and um, it was some high caliber motherfuckers. Yeah, so, you know, I'm nervous as hell. Oh, to be talking about Lisa <laughs> Ray, right? Right? Yeah, I'm on Players Club. Players Club. <laughs> God damn, man, she was fine. Oh, but yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was like, damn, you know. Oh, Mike that's Kimber, it. that's the girl from uh, In the House? Yeah, and she was fine. Yeah, yeah. But she had, she had a lot of shit going she on did, personally, she did. Seen man. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? And I, I always say a prayer for her, man, because I, I would love to see her bounce back from any yeah, 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 anything yeah. she's dealing with. But anyway, um, so yeah, once I did that, you know, it was like, damn, okay, I, I like this shit. I think okay. I can do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what made me just want to stick with it. But what made me want to write... Mm -hmm. Niggas wasn't putting me in enough movies. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't enough of these niggas movies. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to B. Shout out to Moolah. But y'all yeah. niggas did not call me for a lot of the movies that y'all put out. And y'all know y'all should have. Yeah. I ain't mad at y'all. <laughs> just shoot my own shit. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's, kick, a, kick in the dough some type of way. Yeah, that's what really motivated, motivated me to write you, a script, you, though. See, you bigger than an actor now. You you got producer cred. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Writing cred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not just an actor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then you know... uh. That like like I said, that's what really motivated it. Seeing okay. how these niggas was just shooting all these movies, and I didn't get no phone calls. I'm just yeah. like, okay, bet. Yeah, yeah. I just shoot my own shit. Yeah. I can, so yeah. I do it. Sure. And then um, my homeboy uh, Kanar Lawan, legend. 
he hit me up and and actually put me in a real good spot in his movie called Asbury Park. Okay. That's dropping mm. February eighth. Okay. Uh, actually, two days before my birthday, so that's gonna be a hell of a birthday gift. Hell yeah. Um, but he put me in the scene with one of my favorite actors, dog. The nigga Steel from Juice. Oh uh, shit, yeah. Sam's from Lean yeah. On Me. You know what Morgan, I'm saying? Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. <laughs> yeah. So he put him. He, he got him in the movie, man. And yeah, actually, yeah. we got a scene together. We play police officers. Hey, you talking about what's name off of Wayne Brothers, dog? Uh, uh, Dupree. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, yeah. that was that was one of my favorite actors, man. You know what man, I'm saying? Like smoking crack, ain't ya? Yeah. So, yeah. so that nigga, uh, that nigga survived Bishop, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we did that, man, and um, man. shit, it's been on ever since. But That's like up, with the with the whole Ledger movie, man, like. I'm 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 proud of it. I'm happy yeah. about it. I'm excited about it. I was nervous at first when yeah. we did the first casting call, but people came through and they yeah. shut their roles. Man, they shut that shit down. It was just a lot of talented people in this city. Oh, Cause yeah. like, let me ask you this: what, Say this movie blew up, and you're like, "Hey, man, I want you to write more." Would, would you ever put the music to the side, like, or would you be like, I'm, "I ain't putting it to the side now." So yeah, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Both, I just, I, you gotta find balance. Man. Oh yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You know the way yeah. I work with the music shit. You know, I don't compare myself to Dr. Dre. I never can and never will, but yeah. I have a Dr. Dre mentality when it comes okay. to the music. Like, mm -hmm. you know, my albums, I used to do my albums so far in between, so far few in between because I did, I felt like I didn't want to over, oversaturate myself and yeah. overexert my energy with creating and, and albums. niggas need to know how to take time to just build with an album, man. So many yeah, times man. we just list the album and go, all right, when you dropping the next one? And you I, got dropped that yesterday. Right, <laughs> and I honestly feel like, you know what I'm saying, I, I honestly think that None of the artists that really do that yeah. give that project enough time to circulate sure. and do what it's going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nowadays, we, we living in the days of uh, social media and yeah. shit what like that. What you doing that. right so, now? What you doing tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know so I mean? it's kind of like putting niggas under the gun. Like, I got to yeah. drop another single. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to because my people want content, content, yeah. content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, man. I rage against the machine. Like I'm not, and I think that's the reason why each album has so much, mm -hmm. like uh, 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 staying power. Yeah, it's so relevant. You each take, album, you, you take your time with it. You know, yeah, what I mean? bro. I ain't rushing. Yeah, but I'm about to, I'm about to get off into the uh, dropping singles and shit though, because yeah. I, I feel like I got a lot of songs, especially where I am creatively as a as an artist. I got a lot of records that I want to drop. You know what I'm hey, saying, man. Let, let me ask you this, dog, because I I'm about to uh, wrap up. I want to ask you this before we do. Um, as far as being a producer yeah. and, and being a rapper, for artists that's coming up in the game who can't afford the money, I mean, who don't can't afford the beat, do you, do you still advise them to save money up for that original beat or just get that YouTube type course, beat? Of course, man. I'm against that that type beat shit. Yeah, I'm against I, that I, I, shit. I want to know, niggas. <laughs> I don't lie. I'm against that yeah, shit. No, and I'm going to tell you why, man, because me, man. I just seen so many of my young homies come through. And they're using these beats off YouTube, and then they go, they pay me for the studio time. Mm -hmm. Then they go pay a videographer, nigga, five, anywhere between 500 to 1,000 to shoot the video, mm -hmm. and you can't even sell the song yeah. and make your money back. Yeah. Now, what Now what if the beat is, what if it's a free beat, nigga? Ain't, no okay. Ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing. Because if that motherfucking song end up doing numbers, my man gonna motherfucker gonna want their cheese, bro. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. gonna want, look at the Old Town Road. That shit was a tight beat. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. My man jumped on that motherfucker and, and, and you know, mm -hmm. you know what he did. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't even gotta talk yeah. about it. Yeah. That's probably yeah. one of the top records in the fucking country, in the history of the yeah. uh, country rap. What they, I, that nigga <laughs> made a genre. Yeah. This nigga yeah. made a country rap genre. Yeah. Yeah. Off for that sure. shit, bro. So, yeah, man, you know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I ain't with that YouTube shit. Like, I, I, my, my thing is, I, I push and advocate motherfuckers investing in themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, the same way you could go to Somerset and spend a thousand dollars for a pair of Gucci's or whatever the fuck, you yeah. can spend that thousand with a producer that's yeah. gonna help your career with so, this song that y'all dropping. In the long run, you say that bitch blow up. Shit, you got that's your beat. That's your beat, cuz. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. man. So, man, we, we wrapping up, man. It's towards the end, we got these little, little little things we do, but I wanted to know this: young nigga thinking versus some shit I've been through. For example, as a young nigga, I always give out this funny ass example, dog. Young nigga, you 17, 16, you you ain't eating no pussy. Mm. But you become an adult, nigga. That's my. Come on, bring that shit over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. what's some young nigga thinking that versus some shit you've been through? It could be in life, like things you didn't motherfucking think you'd be doing as an adult, as a little, as a little homie. Honestly, bro, mm -hmm. caring. 
Okay. Just can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the older I got, more, I started caring about shit that I didn't care about at all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the uh, I, I think this is the most emotional I ever been in my life. Bro. Oh, yeah. Seeing like yeah. all of the shit that's going on in the world, all the mm-hmm. shit that's happening to kids, these women, yeah. it's shit starting to fuck with me, dog. Yeah, like it's, it's it's fucking with me to a point where it's like, damn, you know, I shed a tear when shit happened. Now yeah. you know what I'm saying. But man, back then say, man, it was just like I didn't give a fuck. Get back about on this, nothing. man. That's the first time I cried when somebody passed away that wasn't related to me. Yeah, was yeah, Nip and Kobe. Yeah. Kobe, I was in that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like that was my brother. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you feel a sense of relation to them because yeah. you watched them for so long, or you, you inspired by what they do. So sure. I don't, I don't, I can't hold that against nobody for shedding a yeah. tear for a Nip or a Kobe. Like yeah. that shit, it's fucked up, bro. Yeah, best of time, like damn, that, no, I, I love them. Like yeah. that was cold with what they do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But that's 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 what I could think of, bro. Like. Okay. You know, yeah, I, I didn't yeah. care. I didn't care when I was a young nigga. But yeah. now, you know, I'm, I'm, I care about yeah. everything. For sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure. Hey, that's, that is some shit. When you get older, things start changing. You start having hey. kids. You start seeing life. Like, oh, yeah, bro. You you look at life differently. It's called evolution, bro. Oh, like, yeah. if you if you live life and you 40 and 50 years old and you still thinking and doing the same shit you was doing when you was 15, 16, 17, bro, you got a problem. Hell <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, man. All right, man. We always, uh, but right before we get to our last segment, we got this thing called top three. I give you a category. Give me your top three. You say you was into the hoops, man. Give me your top three hoopers all the time. MJ, Allen Iverson, okay, Magic Johnson. And Iverson changed the fucking game. Niggas wasn't tatted up. That nigga was. He made yeah, that up. nigga was the nigga. Yeah. <laughs> NBA got He that. made them get a dress code. Hell yeah. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. Iverson, remember the Iverson jerseys though? The four yeah. jerseys he had on. Uh, man, all right, give me your top three uh, rappers. Me, me, and me. Nah. Uh, <laughs> <Not my dad>. <laughs> <laughs> uh Rakim, Nas, and Royce. Okay, that's a good. That's a good three right there. Yeah. Top three rap albums. Top three rap albums. Um, Illmatic. Death is Certain. Can't be stopped. Dog, yeah, boys, dog. That one, um, mom playing tricks on me. That that, that video scared the fuck out of me. Can't be stopped. Kid, That's dog. that album. Motherfucking Bushwick was punching the ground. Man, that bitch like nigga. I was scared as hell, dog. I don't know why. This grown ass little man, dog, was scaring me as a little kid, dog. Little Shout out to motherfucking this dog. Uh, top three childhood crushes, dog. <laughs> 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 Nigga. To hell yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Uh Sherry. Okay. From uh Punky Brewster. Okay. <laughs> wow. Totally and uh, uh 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 Pam Greer? No. <laughs> she 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 definitely would be in my top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my top three and Maya, nigga. Oh, and Maya? Maya, man. man hell yeah. Maya. Cold, cold, man. cold. You know what? Real quick, real quick, a uh, little side story, dog. Remember that Janet Jackson album cover when she covered her titties? My mom, to this day, she, she, <laughs> she found that album cover under the sink. <laughs> Cause my cousin was in that mud just doing his thing. Oh man! <laughs> so they all tell me that nigga was in there yanking man, the monkey, man. Al Yankovic, boy. Yeah, yanking the monkey, old chicken, man. God damn, man. All right, man. This is this one. Give me your top three moments in life. Top three moments in life. Man, this is tough. Man, I'm gonna have to say, man. Uh, top three moments in life. Shit. Good moments we talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. Birth of my children would be number one. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yeah, top three moments, that could be like, it could be good or bad, I guess. It's the moments that stick out. I'm going to go with the good ones. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with the good ones, man. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna have to rephrase that top three good moments. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> um. It's, it's a tough one, though. That's why I like. Yeah, it's, I like it's, to know. A, it's a very tough one. I, I I guess the day I found my love for for hip hop when I recorded my first song in the studio. For sure. That was that was one, and yeah. then um. The day I walked the fuck out of Chrysler. Oh shit! Uh, I no. felt like you was gonna say that. No, goddamn. Cause I seen when you posted it. That day I felt like you was gonna say that. Yeah. Damn, wow. you said you. How long you was working there? Eight years. Eight years. You was like, fuck this. You was in. You it's was, just you so was, much. It's just so much shit. That you was in a sense, a, lot of, a lot of people don't. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand. Like, you know, they hear about the money and how good the money is, but that's really they just. Think the, that's life, like, yeah, that's just the costume. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Cause up under that costume. Uh -huh. It's an ugly motherfucker that <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That 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 plant shit is not for everybody. Yeah. You know, you got motherfuckers who've been there for 30, 40 years. Yeah, for sure. I don't see how they did it. It's their life. But you got motherfuckers who, you know. Used it for Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's stepping stone, and that's yeah. what I did. You know, for I sure. gave myself a five year window, ended up being there for eight, but You still got that motherfucker though. Shit. Yeah. The last one, dog. Give me your top three movies, man. Your go-tos. Man, coming to America, boys <laughs> in the hood, menace to society, bro. Hey, that was quick. Right. Quick. Hell yeah. You can watch, dog. Whenever I, I always ask people, like, which one is the best between the two, but I don't think you can sit, really sit here and answer that They're question. They're the same. Between and boys. Only thing I, I will say about, <coughs> bro, shit, that's both, because Sharif. You got motherfuckers that was in the hood that really was, like, hood people, like Cuba, mm -hmm. Sharif, you know what I'm saying? Niggas who just was in that environment. Like, you got homies that be from the hood, but ain't really the tough road. Sharif you know really a hood nigga, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell Sharif, yeah. he really was Oh, no, I know. That I know. shit. Yeah, because you know Tupac wants to play Sharif. That's when he got to the fight with the Hughes brothers. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he really, he really from that shit. So, yeah, you know. I remember I just seen Kane in that movie I was telling you about mm -hmm. with, uh, with Michael Ely, dog. Oh. <laughs> he, went out, he went out bad, dog, but it was cool, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, man. We always ended off, man, on a high moment, a drunk moment, or both. Okay. When you was, give me a funny story though when you was messed up, man. Man, I went to this motherfucking house party in the hood. All right, got the throw bag already. Man, went to this <laughs> hospital. Shout out to Fallon and Tanae, man. Yeah. They had this damn house party in their basement, bro, and I got to drinking Boone's Farm mixed with beer, beer. Yeah. And Hennessy, and I was just, I had like a hell of a boiler maker that night, <laughs> and all I can remember, man, is. Being so fucking drunk, bro, not knowing how I got home. I got carried into my grandma's crib <laughs> by my brother and somebody else. Yeah. My, no. One of my oldest brothers and somebody else. They carried me in the house like I was a dead body. <laughs> and left me in my grandma's basement, yeah. nigga. <laughs> Banged on the door. My grandfather came to the door and opened it. Nah, nah. My grandmother came to the door and opened it up, man. Yeah. The motherfuckers was carrying me in that bitch like something happened to me. Like, like you was motherfucking uh, 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 Kane Cut. I mean, Kane, we got shot. Like. <laughs> One thing I can honestly say, like, I'm the type of nigga that, you know, back when I used to get fucked up, fucked up like that, yeah. I was never pissy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. never a pissy nigga. I know some niggas who got. <laughs> Fucked up and pissed on. I start looking at niggas differently. No, like, damn. Like, fuck wrong with you, bro. <laughs> but like, you know, I, I that was that was it, man. man. That was that night. I never forget that shit because I heard about they didn't they ain't let me live that shit down, man. dog. So when you woke up, nigga, what you like? You were like, damn, what the fuck? How I get here? Man, I don't remember shit. <laughs> no. I don't even remember waking up the next day, nigga. I just remember. <laughs> I remember a week later. Like, yeah, I remember a week later. <laughs> my grandma was like, "You good now? Like, what you talking about? Like." Is you good, nigga? Nigga, Brandon Seals got messed up all that motherfucker. Man, I was so dog. fucked up, bro. Like I'm talking about, nigga. I had, and you know, back then the Boone's Farm bottles used to be like this big, yeah. all this tall, yeah. probably that wide. So, yeah. nigga, I'm drinking like imagine drinking like four or five of them. You know what I'm saying? Then God, drinking damn. motherfucking Budweiser. Oh, fuck. Then right. drinking motherfucking Hennessy. You dead. <laughs> it's over. Y'all remember you're going to be, over, you're gonna be, uh, 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 you know, gonna be lost for a good week. Yeah, I, think, I was dog. over with, nigga. I'm talking about my whole family was just standing around. I woke up. And <laughs> I do remember that part. I woke up looking around. I'm fucking standing around like they looking at a fish in an aquarium or some hey, shit. Man, that nigga bite, bite. Uh, Chalked out, dog. Man, I'm, nigga, I was nigga, so fucked bite. up, bro. Duh. Well, uh, um, one quick thing, dog. For we wrap it up, man. What made you say just fuck? You know, saying you say you don't drink. What made you say you just fuck drinking, man? Like, shit, man. That's I, my daughter, man. Okay. My daughter, 
Uh, my oldest daughter, bro, like, after my mom passed, I went, like, on a six-month drinking binge, bro. Like, oh, yeah, you know, I was drinking like a motherfucking, uh, yeah, I was drinking like a fifth of Hennessy every other day. Yeah. So it was like, you know, I'm on, uh, when I say every other day, I'm talking about literally, nigga, if it's Monday by yeah. Wednesday, I got a whole nother fifth. Yeah, but see, I, I, I always wondered, dog, with that, like, when you do that stuff, when you lose somebody, is that just like the motherfucking just to forget the hurt during the time? Nah, you, the thing about it, bro, we can... We can drink, we can smoke as much weed, crack, whatever the fuck you choose mm -hmm. as we want, right? Yeah. Once you come down off that high, that pain still going to be there. The reality still going to be there. Yeah. And once I learn, I, I put it in the verse, actually, on, no, on my No Signs of Weakness song on the album. Mm -hmm. um, I say it. I say, you know, uh, I was down on my knees, head in the toilet. And once I sobered up and realized nothing has changed, killing myself, drinking liquor to camouflage pain. Mm -hmm. It, it was just me basically letting it be known, like, you know, uh, it don't matter how high you get. Once you come down off that high, your reality is still going to be your reality, and it's going to hit your ass quicker than that high did. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it just got to a point where, you know, my daughter, man, I wasn't seeing my kids throw out to here, fucking beard down to here and yeah. shit, fat as fuck. Yeah. I think I was damn near like 300 pounds and shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. For my size, yeah. that ain't good. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So, uh... You know, I, 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 shit, six months, and I kind of, oh, that shit, my daughter, man, she just, yeah, I, she I, man, much love to my daughter, man, because she, yeah, she, yeah. she, she made her way into that room. She For found sure. a way. I don't remember if she, I was drunk. I don't know yeah. if she kicked the dough in yeah, or whatever yeah, the fuck, but yeah. she got in that motherfucker. Yeah, man. You know I know, Royce was talking about that joke on the Book of Ryan, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, him, him putting the liquor bottle down yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. and he, like sometimes people don't know. Like you see, cause I think he was saying like he said he's old man drinking all the time. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like man, we talk about how you see people get high and do drugs, and you, you know, what I'm saying you, you pick that pipe up or that joint yeah, up or whatever. Yeah, shit, yeah. that liquor just. I, I I think even with with the whole weed and the whole drug shit, like my mama spoiled it, spoiled it for me. Yeah. Like my whole like a majority of my family was yeah. drug addicted. Okay. To a certain degree, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, not to put my family out there because I love my family, yeah, but, but you no. know, it's just my reality. This is the facts. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Um, you know, they they uh they really made me not ever want to fuck with drugs, nigga. That just say no commercial with yeah. me. I'll watch that bitch wearing <laughs> just say no t shirt. Yeah. My family used to look at me like, nigga, you think you slick? We know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you motherfuckers is listening to yeah. what I'm saying. For you know sure, what I'm saying? Man. But you know, a lot of my family members got their shit on track. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Especially yeah. one of my favorite aunts, man. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, 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 it's a beautiful thing to see people bounce back from, from that, you know, yeah. from them dark places. Because yeah, it's hard to do. Yeah. That shit hard to do, yeah. dog. Yeah. Shit, man, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. Thank you, brother. Hey, man. Really? No, nah, for sure. Real quick, though, before you get out of here, I just I got a question I wanted to ask that I thought you might have asked. Oh, shit. I fucked nah, up. Nah, you from Southwest, bro. Yeah. How motherfucking dope was oh, it when T got out of jail? Oh, yeah, Southwest T. Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Shit, bro, I ain't gonna even lie. When when T got out of jail, uh, for one, it was a surprise. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I was actually in the courtroom when they got sentenced, him and Meach. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I was sitting with the family. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I hated to see them niggas go down because yeah. once they went down, it was just like everything just became a... a, a Worse than the shutdown from COVID. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, you know, when he came home, man, I was more happy for Lil T and, yeah. and, and Mook, mm -hmm. his daughter. I was happy for them because they got a chance to have a father back. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm hell saying? Yeah, hell yeah, like, ain't shit worse than having your... Because one thing about T, regardless of what people want to say about him or what he did or whatever the fuck, he was always a father. Father. Yeah, for sure. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So to see his kids have to sit there and watch him get sentenced to all them years yeah. and looking at their pain and all that shit, when he came home to actually see how happy T was and how happy Mookie was, yeah. that was it, it for yeah. me. Yeah. That was it for me. You, yeah, know what you know what? I, I forgot that shit. I had that shit down as far as talking about that, dog. And with the whole, to my movies, though, they talking about shooting a, a, a Big mm -hmm. Meech, Meech film, dog. Like, well, how real is that? And like, I don't, I don't really get off into that because that ain't my business. Like I don't really is. like putting oh, no, stuff no, no, out yeah. there and things like you know that I fuck with them. Yeah, for real, like yeah. wholeheartedly, yeah, yeah, yeah. family type shit. Yeah. So I don't want to like whatever plans they got. I know they got the series and all that. That's obvious because yeah, they posted they, the book with the fifty cent shit. shit, right? But as far as anything else, like bro, I wouldn't even know because. Yeah. 
I just care about them. I don't care about none of that. You think shit, we, you think you know we see them soon, dog? Out, out, the, out that. We, I'm praying we do. Mm-hmm. You know, the family praying we do. Like, yeah. you know, we we want to see him home. Yeah, yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? We definitely want to see him home because he got kids too. Yeah, he need yeah. to come home too. Hell so yeah, you man. know, hell yeah, hell yeah. Shit, man. So uh, where, where can people find you, man? Where can you find music at on IG, social media? Like, give people your your, your business, man. Yeah, man. On IG and Twitter, the handles is the same. It's big underscore gov. Um. My Facebook, Big Gov. Mm-hmm. Uh, my website is BigGovMusic.com. You can go on there too, man. I got some merch for my uh, clothing line, upcoming clothing line called Speak No Evil Apparel. Okay. Um, shit, man. The Ledger movie on the way. Yeah. Ashbury Park on the way, February 8th. When uh, the Ledger movie come out, man, you and the cast, man, come through, man. Oh, let's make that happen, bro. For sure. Hell yeah, Hell we yeah. do that. For sure, for Hell sure. Yeah. And, man, we always, like, send people out with some last sentiments, man. What's some, like, some important things you want to get in the world, man? Like, don't do drugs, you know, stuff like that. Like, don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, wear a mask. Oh, yeah, for sure, wear a mask, <laughs> I mean, nah, man, nah, just, uh. Wear a mask, for sure. <laughs> nah, man, just, you know. Always remember to be real to yourself before you be real to others. Be real to yourself, man. Oh, yeah. Self love and self realness is way more important than anything in this world. Like That's you know right. what I'm saying. You can't raise your children if you ain't loving yourself and you ain't wow. raising yourself. Shit. You know what I'm saying. You can't so, be in a relationship. Yeah, if you don't love none yourself. of that. You can't do shit you without self love. Love, love you. So self love is important. It ain't selfish. To yeah. have self love, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man, for sure, man. I appreciate you coming on the show, man. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? I know it was last minute, but you came through. Oh, uh, bro, it, it was it was right on time. Yeah, came through book. on time too. And I'm gonna leave people with, man. Like, dog, I always leave some funny shit, man. But I ain't gonna do that shit this time, man. <laughs> my, <laughs> my shit, dog. If you got something that you want to want to start, you want to do, man, just go ahead and do it, man. Don't waste time, cause shit, you might not see tomorrow. Shout out to everybody.